Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to some more Don't Starve and today we're going to be playing on a new world and I know in the last world, or the last time we played uh, it was more of a longer episode actually and I don't know if I like that or not like I meant for it to be uh, two days which would have been around a 16 minute video but uh, since I died and everything I got, I got lost track of time and then I started the new world which made it even more um, time consuming and I just really lost track and everything so I figured I'd start a new one because I've been playing this at school actually um, woo! Mr. He's a gobbler <laughs> he's awesome but I've been playing this at school like I took the flash drive to school and I installed it on the school computer through like Chrome, uh, using my whatever, and um, so I was sitting there playing it, and Ryan is in that class too, not Zebra Blood, but the other Ryan, and um, I've been playing it a lot, and I like to go and just explore, and I figured out the best strategy for me to do is to start my first day off by gathering as many things as I possibly can. What? Beehive. Yeah, start off by gathering as much as possible. And then after I get a decent collection of things built up to um, kinda just head out and then build temporary fires and stuff and let those burn out and stuff and uh, wait until I get to a good area and my definition of a good area would be the um, the area where the beefalo are. If you don't know what beefalo are, it's like a buffalo, but instead of instead of giving you buffalo meat, they give you beef, which is pretty self-explanatory. So yeah, and I've also learned some cool tricks and stuff. Like I I really use my map a lot lately. Like it's helpful to like scan the area because it oh, this map will actually tell you like everything you need to know. And plus, I figured out that the arrow keys can actually like turn this ca camera, which is cool. And that'll help a little bit. Nothing too major, but it'll help. So, I'm just gathering a whole bunch of stuff right now. Like, when I did it earlier today at school, um, I had started and uh, I had got to the area I wanted to be in by like my fourth day, and then uh, I spent the night there, and then in the morning I had already grown my beard. Um, so,. It did take me a little bit to get there, but I had some pretty fun exploration and stuff on the way, like uh, tall birds and stuff and stealing their eggs, which I don't think I've done yet, so you guys will see stuff about that and everything, because I guarantee that I'll find one. I guarantee that I'll find one. Okay. Tons of gobblers around here. Move away. Yes, yes. Here we go. Bam, got me some meat. Okay. Um so yeah. After I get done collecting for the first day, I normally collect as much as I can on the first island. And then after I'm finished doing that, the second day I start heading out and doing exploration. So I think I'll do the same tactic there. Whoop, no, 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 you, well, you've already ruined it. Okay, we'll do this one, I guess. Small, tiny tree. And I want to get a shovel, too, because, like, you have no idea how helpful it is to, like, grab all of these little, like, twig plants and stuff and bring those over to your area to where you want to settle down at. It's just so helpful. So, I want to go ahead and build one of those. Did I just build another axe? Damn it. Well, I guess there's nothing like getting tons of wood. Okay, so we are going to be recording for two days at a time now. Um, and that's, that's fine. 16 minute videos aren't that bad. 
I mean, I did like the whole 8 minute video thing because they weren't like bad at rendering or uploading or anything, but I just felt like they were really bland. Like, I mean, one day at a time, you don't get a whole lot done. You're talking through half of it, and you, like, lose track of what you're doing. And it's just not enjoyable for me. And maybe you guys, too. I don't know. So. And I still do have my uh, builds, or, like, structures and stuff that I can do uh, from the last time that we played. So that's cool, and I'm going to keep doing it like that. Um, just because I don't... I don't want to have to reset it every time, that'd be kind of annoying. Okay. And it's getting dark. Alright, so we do have a little bit of time before we have to actually build like a little base camp thing. So we can just go around and collect berries and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Chop, chop, chop. And we gotta get started. Oh. The next thing we probably need to find are rocks, which. Oh, whoa. Stop that. Oh, wow, if you hold tab, it just, like, lags out. It's gay. There are bugs in this game. Oh, the bees. Not so sure about them bees, man. Okay. It's time to... It's getting dark, dark. Fire! Okay. So, let's get some stuff cooking. Berries. And we'll get everything situated for our little trick. It's more of a, I did more of a waiting game and stuff when it came to this point here just because it's it really is a waiting game because in the night time you can't really do a whole lot I mean I guess I could build a torch but I'm not sh so sure about torches because if I get caught by somebody I'm screwed I don't know though we could do it we could do it um but I won't be able to really be able to like survey the area and get stuff so I think I'll do it more of a daytime thing um, yeah all right everything's going fine Whew. so I figured out while playing that most of the islands are just circle and then they've got little bridges that like like connect off to different place, bleh, places or areas or whatever you want to call them and yeah it's pretty cool actually because there's like I th there might be a set limit on how many islands there are and then each one just has its own kind of like thing going for it I guess so um, we did get some pretty decent stuff we researched some stuff. And I figured out you can scroll down you can see the fishing rod. Which you have to you have to have like a little pond for it. You can't actually fish in the ocean, which kinda sucks, but you know, it's all good. Alright, I'm gonna go back through and kinda like collect some of the um the actual like things for them. Like these. I'm gonna collect the actual saplings. And you can only hold ten of these and ten of the grass uh, stalk things. So I'm going to get uh, ten of those and then as many berry bushes as we can find. Because the place that we're going to settle down at, or I can just like leave that over there. The place that we're going to settle down at is like, it's like the ground's like covered in like hay or like light grass or something like that. I don't really know what to call it, but it's where uh, the beefalo are and uh they give manure which is probably like the best resource ever 
So that's what I'm going for, because that'll be the most helpful. Alright, I need to keep this out so I can see how many things I have of each. Grabbing things and digging things. Getting logs. <laughs> I love the little things he says is the best. Oh, seeds. I need to keep some seeds because um, when I make a farm eventually I'll have the seeds and stuff ready for that. Alright, I got ten of these. Now I just need a couple more of the grass. And then as many berry bushes as I can possibly find. Alright. Carrots are good too. Because carrots are more of a food source, which is nice to have though. Because uh, in the place like where the beefalo are, uh, there are rabbit holes occasionally, so it's also a good idea to get some carrots and stuff while I'm there. Or while I'm here, so I can go ahead and gather up the stuff and use it later. I didn't get really that many berry bushes. Uh, we should be okay. Oh, there's a berry bush up there. Ah, quit doing that. Oh, it's because you just have to tap it. <laughs> I'm just holding it. Okay, yeah, this sucks. We're already, like, filled up. Um, I don't know what we're going to need to drop, though. What don't I need? Probably go ahead and eat these berries. Did my shovel break? Oh. Did I have two shovels? Why did I have two shovels? Either way, uh, we got as many of those as we can carry. Berry bush, berry bush, berry bush. Ooh, and I'm not able to get this guy. Oh. Come on. Got you, boy. Yeah. That's how you do it. But you have to do it like the best time. Okay. Let's build a. Oh, I don't have. What? 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 What is this? Where's Flint? Don't you caught me, birds. Okay, there's a road there. Like a bridge. Um. Uh, I need one piece of Flint. Come on. Spent all my freaking stuff on axes and all this bull. Might as well get some logs. Since I built way too many axes. Nope. Wait. We can, I guess. Okay, man. Dig it up, dig it up, dig it up. Okay, we can dig up this as well. Another berry bush. Yeah, that stuff right there. Um, see how this is like lighter, lighter colored? That's what the um, the area where the beefalo. Uh, that's what it's like on. I'm sure we can find some flint and stuff uh, elsewhere, so we're going to leave those rocks there and just kind of head out, because we don't have a whole lot of time left for this episode. You just don't beat little Wilson, I'll zoom in on him. Wilson! Yeah, yeah, yeah! Look at him, he's awesome. The way he runs is the best, too. He's like, eh, 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 eh. Then if you zoom all the way out, you get awesome clouds. Zoom out further. More clouds. Yes. Ooh, swamp. 
What the heck? Oh no! This place is gay. Huh. I don't like this at all. I officially hate, um, you know, the, uh, swamp. Oh, spiders. Oh, don't touch me. Filthy creature. Yeah, we're gonna need to build a campfire soon. Maybe I can get off this island before it turns dark dark though. Uh, I'm not so sure about this. Come on, I got time. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. I don't like this island. No, it's getting dark. Yeah, we're gonna have to set up camp. Whew. I didn't like it. I didn't, still don't like it. Um, I did get a morsel. <sighs> yeah, burn, campfire, burn. Chop some down some trees while we got time. There you go. Gathering wood and things. Digging up things. What I like about these is uh, they'll actually burn out and then they'll burn the logs that they're on. So that's nice too. So that they won't just sit there forever. Like the pit ones that I normally use, they're more of like a, a permanent kind of deal. Um, we'll cook one. Eat, eat, eat. My health is so low from those freaking tentacle things. Oh, what the hell? Oh, that thing just died. Poor little tree. <sighs> We're actually getting close. Alright, so I'll see you guys later. It's getting almost morning time. So as soon as it saves, I'm going to see you guys later. So I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh hoping you're liking this up close on Wilson. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.